Hey guys, so I just got myself a Nintendo Wii because they're totally new and just came out and certainly aren't like seven years old or whatever they are. I also got myself a fat stack of games for the Wii, which I'm basically going to spend uh, the rest of December reviewing, starting with Zelda Skyward Sword. Oh my god. Uh, I was actually kind of excited to play this because it's been a while since I played a, a console Zelda game. I think like two years ago I did a review for Spirit Tracks, uh, but I haven't played really a, a console Zelda game since uh, Wind Waker. I, I didn't get a chance to play uh, Twilight Princess, I'll probably pick that up the Wii eventually. But uh, Spirit, uh, Skyward Sword, it's, it's out. For the Wii, it's a Zelda game, but it uses the Motion Plus instead of, you know, the normal combat system. So is it any good? Does it change too much about Zelda? Does it not change enough? Does it feel stale? I, I don't know. Why don't you watch my video and hear my opinion of Zelda Skyward Sword? The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword is basically the first Zelda game developed for this console generation. And while Twilight Princess was released on the Wii, it was developed for the GameCube and just, you know, released on the Wii so it had a Zelda launch title. But here we are with a Zelda game for the Wii, strangely though towards the tail end of the Wii's lifespan, but hey, Zelda game. And like with any Nintendo first party game, it's developed exclusively for the system to use the system to its fullest potential. And of course that means that Zelda Skyward Sword uses Wii Motion Plus to its perceivably fullest potential. Gone are the days where you press A to attack with your sword, and all that good stuff that we remember from growing up with Zelda. This time around you are actually using your Wiimote to swing the sword. And unlike the typical waggle your arm with a Wiimote hoping that it slashes the screen in the right way, this uses Wii Motion Plus, which is a more accurate way of doing it. This means that the direction you actually are swinging your arm is the direction that Link is swinging his arm in the game. If you do a horizontal strike, he does a horizontal strike. If you, if you do diagonal, or vertical, or a thrust, or some sort of combination of the, he will do that. And because you have complete and total control over where Link is actually swinging his sword, the enemies reflect that. Instead of just wildly swinging your sword to kill the enemies, the enemies actually will deflect and parry your attacks. So you actually have to watch your enemies and hit where he's not defending. If he's holding his sword up high, well then you gotta attack low. If he's holding it horizontally, hey, strike diagonally or whatever. It really turns every moment of combat, every little fight that you're in, into basically a puzzle. It's an action-y, sword fighting, slashing things to death puzzle, but it's still a puzzle. You have to figure out where do I slice to get this guy dead. This was my first real experience with the Wii game, so I, I really wanted to see how this technology worked and if it did work. And I can really say with confidence that this technology works. Where I swing is where Link swings, and it does work. The gameplay is really supposed to give you the feeling that you are Link, you are the one holding the sword, and you are slashing these guys, and you feel very epic about it. But as accurate as the Wii Motion Plus is, it isn't truly one for one. You don't have to stand there swinging your sword. You can basically just kind of lie back like a lazy schlub and kind of wiggle your arm a little bit. The story this time is a little different from what we normally see in The Legend of Zelda. The game starts out on this magical floating island where all the people live and they're safe from all the evil that's down on the ground or they don't even know about the surface. And Link and Zelda are like childhood friends and there's the whole will they won't they which is a little different that they actually know each other, they grew up together, normally they, they've never met until the game starts. And of course Link is trying to be some knight, he's at some school to become some dude that flies a giant bird or whatever the hell's going on. And in the midst of flying around on these giant birds in the sky and everything's all wonderful, Zelda is actually like sucked up by a tornado and taken away and Link has to go down there and save Zelda and defeat the evil darkness or whatever. The story's a nice little balance between the, the sort of childlike whimsy of, of a Wind Waker type game and, and the sort of more dark tones of the Ocarina of Time. And of course, as the story progresses, you go through different lands, you go through, you know, you have to get to a temple, then you have to go to the end of the temple, then you defeat the boss, and all that stuff is very traditional Zelda. You collect little gadgets along the way, some new ones like the beetle that you control with the Wii Motion Plus to grab things, and it's all very classic Zelda archetypes, but they've added some newer elements into it as well, like uh, the crafting system so that you can, like, upgrade some of your weapons, like your shields and, and whatnot, which is cool. They've also added these little stone guys that if you ever get stuck with a quest, they'll kind of show you the way and, and stuff, which is nice because the game is kind of hard. It's very difficult to use the Wii Motion Plus, and there's a lot of stuff to keep track of. 
The world is not quite as large and expansive as it's like a Hyrule where you can go anywhere, you hop on your horse and go in any direction, but it does feel, it's very sectioned off, at, but you travel between the sections by flying on birds, so it feels very Wind Waker like that, and, but instead of oceans, it's sky. Honestly, I have this weird, wishy-washy opinion of this game because, on one hand, it's great. It's Zelda. It does some really interesting things that Zelda hasn't done before. It's refined the gameplay. It's uh, it's made things a little easier, less you know, taking out some of the stuff that from the, the old games that I didn't like so much. But it's got Motion Plus, which, on one hand, is is great because it works. You know, it does what you uh, you know it you feel like you know my actions have a direct consequence to uh what link does on the screen but i'm terrible at it so i wish i could just be pressing a to to kill all the things like press a to kill all the things like in all the other zeldas so it, it's kind of strange i like the the idea of the motion plus and they really work it into the gameplay and it doesn't feel tacked on it feels like it, it's there it, it, there's a purpose for it it works uh, I just, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of it. I, I'm terrible at it, which is why I think I don't like it so much. But if you can get past that, if you can give it a chance, and, and really give it a chance and try it, you, I think you'll find that you really enjoy it. Uh, maybe you won't. A lot of people hate it because it's Motion Plus, but I'm sure in a couple of years everyone's going to be like, oh, I was one of the only, everyone loved it. You know, it's one of those kind of titles. But uh, if you have a Wii, why don't you have this game? It's like, the one game coming out this year or the next three years for the Nintendo Wii anyway, so pick it up.